You know the most funniest thing? Years and years, countries were debating who is the most powerful country in the world. But yet, there is a very tiny microscopic cell, a virus came from nowhere and now it's proving none of you powerful enough than the mother nature. This tiny microscopic cell killing thousands of thousands of people around the world, none of those so-called powerful country cannot prevent from that. Where's your multi-billion rocket launchers? Where's your multi-billion security system? Where's your multi-billion talks? Nothing effective, right? But ozone is getting fixed, air pollution goes down, water pollution goes down, glaciers is going back to normal, and uh, global warming is goes down. Looks like Mother Nature click on the reset button and it getting reset itself. Hello everyone. I hope you are so safe in this pandemic situation. Stay safe, that's my first wish. Okay, every time whenever I was asked to do a talk about a topic in a universities, maybe other companies, no matter where, the most frequent topic they give to me is how I can become a software engineer, how to become a successful software engineer, how I can success as a software engineer. No matter what, what word they use, they go to the same direction. They want to know how, I, how to become a successful software engineer. I think that is the uh, most frequent topic I ever uh, give a talk. Today, I'm going to share five rules where you can follow to become a successful software engineer. If this is the first video you're watching in my channel, probably you don't know me. My name is Krish. I am a software architect working for Virtusa, which is a leading software development company in the world. And I have more than 15 years of experience in this industry, including enterprise architecture, enterprise integrations, and many more. So, today I'm going to share my five topics, five points you can follow to become a successful software engineer. Point number one, think why. Why you want to become a software engineer? Here's, here's the most uh, common reason I found. If you want to be a pilot, you need to go to pilot school for years and years. If you want to be a doctor, you need to go to uh, university, med school, then residencies and so many things. If you want to become a lawyer, it's the same. But no matter what qualification you have, no matter what experience you have, a company can give you a title called software engineer. So people used to think this is the easiest way I can become an engineer, right? So this is the easiest way to get the engineering title. If you think in the same way, don't ever think to come into this field because the title that company gives to you as an engineer doesn't valid. It doesn't recognize. The world doesn't accept you as an engineer just because that company gave you a title. But how do you know whether you can become a software engineer or not? Here's how you can decide that. If you can think logically, if you can identify patterns, if you can uh, recognize patterns and predict what's going to happen next, and if you can stick on a problem until you solve it, then I think you have a basic qualification to become a software engineer. But if you are bad on uh, patterns, if you don't understand the patterns, and if you, don't, uh, if you cannot recognize those, if you cannot think logically, if you cannot solve a problem logically, and also, if you cannot stick to a problem until you see a solution, it, until you go through that, then I don't think this is a good field for you. So think twice if you don't have those qualifications, whether you are coming to this field or not. Point number two, learn fundamentals. My advice is don't learn a language, don't learn a platform, and don't learn any product. Then what to learn? Learn fundamentals. How computer works how numbering system works, how data structures work, what is the tree, what is the list, what is the set, what is the queue, how those work, what are those behaviors, how, how sorting works, how searching works, bubble sort, uh, binary sort, uh, linear uh, searching, in any fundamental elements in the field, you must learn that. You may start to think, why? Why I want to spend the time to learn the basic while there are enough libraries and uh, frameworks out there to get that to thing done, right? So most, uh, most common question I have been asked, why we have to reinvent the wheel, right? So because there are enough libraries there to sort and search and do all those things, so why we have to worry about it? Here's why. 
software development software engineer is not limiting you develop some sort of system and deploy to production and wash your hand your job doesn't end there right but you need to debug you need to, uh, if, if you get any problem, you need to diagnose that. You need to uh, figure out why this is happening and you need to solve it. When you work on a production system, if you get a bug or if you get an issue or if you get any problem, how complicated that, how complex that, how severe that is not matter. What matters is how quickly development team can uh, recognize that what's going on and how quickly they can fix it. That's what most matters. So. To understand that, you need this understanding about the fundamental, right? If you see the sum value doesn't come where it belongs to, you need to say, ah, okay, so this is the behavior of the tree. So that means this developer may use the tree. So that means this, this might be the problem, okay? So if you see some word or some pattern doesn't follow the, uh, the given instruction it's supposed to follow, you need to see, ah, okay, this has ampersand or this has a double quotes, okay, this may be then uh, this may treat as a regex expression. So that may be, this may be evaluation. So that may be the problem. So you have to go in this chain and figure out a solution. That's why you must be strong on the fundamentals. Learn from me. When I come into this industry, the most popular languages was Pascal, GW basic and Visual basic six. None of those languages are here now, right? If I was to stick to those languages, you don't see me as an architect. But instead of that, what I learn is fundamentals. Every single language come and will be come in future has to follow those basic fundamental unless you get the quantum computers, right? Until that, if you learn the fundamental pairs, no matter what language you come, no matter what concept come, you can follow that and you can learn this. So that's number two. Next point, stay focused. That is something I always see lack of with all these new coming millennials, right? So for some reason, they cannot stay focused. They cannot stick. They always have the mobile device in their hand, but they always deviating from what they're doing. But keep this in mind. If you want to become a pilot, if anyone want to become a pilot, they has to uh, fly as a first officer, then only they can become a captain, right? No matter how good you are, none of airline will offer you in the first place as a captain. If you want to become a doctor, you have to go to med school, you have to be a medical student, then you have to be an intern, then you have to be, do residencies, then, then only you can become a good doctor, right? You have to work under uh, some supervisor. If you want to become a lawyer, you have to work, practice under a supervisor, right? So all the professions built are in the same way. So. If you want to become a successful software engineer, you must work few years under good architect or a good tech lead, right? You need to have a good mentor. Why? Because you may go have good knowledge, but you don't have experience. There are certain things doesn't fall from the sky. You cannot buy from money, right? You can go to an institution, you can pay money and you can learn, but you cannot gain experience like that. So. Most of the time, what I've seen, people are get uh, going to traps when they come out from the university. Some companies offer the huge salary, and they tells you, "Come with us. You are the only person who's maintained this system. You can design, develop, test, and do the production. You can experience everything. You will be an architect." So, most of newcomers go into this trap. They think, "Why I had to spend years and years on a company where this company?" I can directly get experience about system design and architect and everything. Believe me, that's not how things works, right? That will solve your immediate problem. That will give you a good thrill to immediate like, okay, for the moment, okay, I will be an architect, I am I'm a good and I'm so and so forth. But sooner or later, you're going to collapse. Here's why. If you have a strong foundation, you can build 30, 40, 50 story building. But if your foundation is weak, you may build up to some extent, but sooner or later, you are going to collapse. So stay focused, learn well, spend your five, for first three to five years to learn. Next point, do not fear to fail. Because if you fear to fail, you don't try new things. If you don't try new things, you don't learn new things. So do not ever fear to fail. Don't fear to fail doesn't mean you should try everything on your production system. Don't tell that Chris says, don't fear to fail, so let me to try this on a production. No, that is not what I mean, right? Doesn't fear to fail doesn't mean you have to be stupid, right? What I mean, you always 
has to try new things, right? learn new things and try out it. If you try that, if that does not work, you will know something, okay, this is not going to work in a this way. People who work with me, they may know, when they say something, I can tell up front this is not going to work. Why I can tell that? Because I have tried that, right? Whenever I go to see an issue or whenever I go to, try to solve, solve a problem, I know things, how it is not going to work, right? And I know a set of things, this could be work. So I can eliminate this set of things and I can directly go to this path. So I can uh, find a solution very quickly. So do not ever fear to fail. Because if you fear to fail, you have fear to your life, then you are, you are never going to hit a success. Failing is fine. If you fail, what does it mean? There is a, you know one other way things are not going to work, right? So don't ever fear to fail. And next important thing is, have your dream steady and strong. Do not let your dream to go out of your sight. Here's why. Because we have to have a dream, but that dream has to have a meaning and also you need to work smart and hard to achieve that dream into reality. Sometimes we need to go away from our dreams. For example, let's say you want to be a software engineer and you go to university and you follow a good course and you are expecting to be a software engineer in a three years or four years. Right? But for some reason, could be finance reason, could be someone is your care is sick. For some reason, you need to go away from that. So, but always think okay i'll spend these two years with them i'm going to do some uh, part-time job and i'm going to collect some money and i'm coming back to achieve my dream always stick to your dream don't let it go from your side the moment you let your dream to go out of your side then you become a loser right so don't become a loser don't ever feel as a loser everyone who come into this planet has a one at least one skill right so find the skill what you have so you found that, that's why you want to become a software engineer. So now stick to that, right? In case, if you can stick to your dream continuously, yeah, take a break, T two years, three years, go to, go to and take care of your family or someone you want to take care and come back and start. Never is late other than never start. And last thing, work smart. Some people say work hard. Doesn't matter hard or smart, you have to work like that. What does it mean? I can guarantee you nothing falling from the sky. You have to earn things, right? There are certain things, no matter how much money you have, you cannot buy. This is a good time to think about that. So now, as I said, the SARS-CoV-2 or Corona attacked the entire world. People have billions of billions of money, but yet they cannot buy the health, right? So like that, the experience and the knowledge and what you know, you cannot buy for the money. So work smart, work hard. Do not waste any second, especially these days, right? You probably, you're all the time at your home, right? So if, you, if you're addicted to Facebook, if you're addicted to Instagram, if you're addicted to YouTube or something, you're done, right? I'm not saying don't follow those. What I'm saying, just go through that. I, ha I am on a Facebook, I am on a YouTube, I am on a Instagram, I'm on a everywhere. But always, always keep in mind what you need to do right so work towards that work hard work smart i always say work smart what i mean if you have a 24 hours albert einstein had 24 hours thomas Alva edison had 24 hours tesla had 24 hours we always we all of us had 24 hours what the matter is how efficiently we use this time so do not waste your time use productively work smart so that will take your dream into reality so, I started my career as an analyst programmer, then I became a software engineer, senior software engineer, tech lead, associate architect, and now I'm an architect. Do not try to skip any of these steps. You must follow all those things by, because all of those steps are there for a reason, right? Probably you can become, you may have opportunity to become an architect in a three years of your career, but don't do, do that, right? So give the time what it deserves, give the time what it needs. Right? Why? Because being a title as a software engineer or having a title as a senior software engineer or architect doesn't help. What matters is no matter what title you have, how quality you work, how good you on the job. Right? Because if you go to a doctor, you go and find the best doctor. If you want to learn something, you go and try to find the best teacher. So your client is deserved to have a best software engineer.
right? So stay tuned, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to do more and more videos like this to teach you things. So stay tuned, subscribe, and also click on this bell icon so you will know whenever I upload a video, right? Remember, don't waste time. Then stay safe in this epidemic situation and stay healthy. Take care. We'll see you soon.